Hi Aries, so let's do a love reading for you and see what is coming up in the reading as we approach the full moon on Thursday. Spirits, angels, and guides, please show us for Aries and their love life. Someone has the key to your heart. Wow, meeting the one. Meeting the one, welcoming, opening your heart, getting together. This is perfect. Wow, okay. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. I got the axe. There could be something where you're breaking up with someone for someone else, but hmm. Okay, let's use the Romance Angels and see what pops up in the reading for you, Aries. This is so weird. So I got... This could be the one. So there's something about a person in your life right now where this person is the one. They're meant to be in your life. Um, I also got trust and stay optimistic. Trust the process. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. So am I going to use brighter weights? I guess so. To see what's coming up in your message. Okay, Spirit and Angels, please show us what's coming up for Aries and their romantic love life. Page of Cups. An innocent messenger. Could be a water sign or someone with water placements. Oh, this could be a past person. Six of Cups. Someone feels nostalgic. Wow. This could be somebody that misses you, who you used to know. They're watching, they're observing you, curious, asking around. You're in a Queen of Water energy, showing your love. Okay. They come in with a Ten of Pentacles. What's the outcome of this connection for Aries? Okay, show us the outcome. Okay, this kind of is like a past person energy, somebody who needs closure. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Seven. This is like they miss you, they feel incomplete, or they just don't, they didn't get the closure. They're kind of like the being left hanging. Did you leave someone hanging? Because the root of the issue is memories. There is a connection, you do have a connection to this person. Outcome is Four of Cups consistently. It came out twice. So it's like you're not really interested. Hmm. The Moon card. There's something where you're just kind of not really interested in this person. Oh, wow. Okay, the Moon means things that are hidden. But I just got right now what flew out and caught air was the Tower and the Nine of Cups. A shake up. Okay, so this could be somebody who, with the Four of Cups, rejected you before. It's like emotional rejection. They come in with the Tower and a Nine of Water, but with a, the Four of Cups is influencing the reading in some way, where either they rejected you or maybe you rejected them in the past. 
maybe they were in a relationship because the three of cups can be relationships over here is the past energy three of cups two of cups six of airs on the bottom they're coming back around they need to discuss something with you talk to you so the key to your heart or your you have the key to their heart because they're watching you with a page of swords what is the Ten of Pentacles? The page. Could be any earth sign coming towards you with a pentacle. Why is there a page of swords? They've discovered you. Somehow they've discovered you. And, um, okay, Two of Swords keeps coming out, meaning like they didn't know or they don't know the choice that they should make. Why are you Queen of Water here? You're being compassionate. Okay. It comes out with a page of wands, five of wands, knight of cups. It makes somebody try harder to get your attention. They try harder. Um, why is this a nine of cups and tower? Why is this a nine of cups and tower? The star card and the king of pentacles. So there is someone here who maybe you let go of or they let go of you. Nine of cups is like a personal wish. And there is an ace of coin on the bottom. A new beginning or something about a new development. They could turn into something real if you wanted it to. Okay. There's, they've discovered you. They've maybe looked for you with the Page of Swords. Okay, Ace of Coin is coming out now. Magician and a King of Water. This could also be a water sign. This could be somebody who has tried to find you or use their skills to manifest you. So you're a queen. You are a match to this energy. The bottom of the deck has the sun. So there could be something very happy. Bringing you a lot of happiness with the sun card energy. Okay, so the sun represents happiness and growth. Positive energy, optimism, all things that are going well in your life. It is the center of everything. Oh, maybe you left this person with a broken heart and you don't know with the moon, the three of swords and the sun and the ten of cups. Maybe you left this person with a broken heart. The emperor taking back your power, ownership, divine masculine. Oh my gosh, I was going to say if there's an empress, this is like a soulmate or a power couple. Emperor, empress, ten of swords and the sun. And the queen of earth, okay, there could be an earth sign feminine somewhere in this or an earth sign. Seven of coin, they're still thinking about you. They're thinking about the past, the time you spent with them, the investment, and they're missing you. All right, well, that's what I have for the Aries love message. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.